before we leave the Patriots game, here's your final four. One, Colby Wooden and Carl Brooks are not only keepers, they play well together. They're going to run what's called a TT stunt. One tackle first, the other tackle loops around him. Now watch Wooden on the left side. He's not worried about rushing the passer. He's going to help his buddy. And by lighting up the Patriot center, he eliminates any chance they have of area or zone blocking and switching men. Completely destroys it. And Brooks comes around that carnage caused by Wooden, untouched, and scores the hit on the quarterback. Two. I thought Lucas Van Ness took a step in the right direction against the Patriots. He had a tackle for no gain, but this is the step I was most impressed with. Here is Lucas, here's the football, quite a bit of distance between the two. But Lucas turns into a man on a mission. Like if he doesn't make the tackle, nobody will. Coming from the inside with a long way to go, he comes to the sideline to stop a play after a gain of just two. Three, the Packers did not allow a single sack against the Patriots, as in none, and this is their backup offensive line. Rasheed Walker, Royce Newman, Jake Hansen, Sean Ryan, Josh Nyman, and look at that pocket. That is a credit to the guys and a credit to their coach, Luke Butkus, who does one hell of a job. And four, last game, Malik Heath was the wide receiver blocking to the echo of the whistle and beyond. This game, it's Grant DuBose. He takes the defender to the sidelines and right out of bounds. That is play style, and the Packers' play style is good. One takeaway that I have just watching us is we keep emphasizing a play style and just, you know, turning and running to the ball, wideouts blocking, and I think we're seeing it. That's the standard, and it's not just one day, it's every day. So, but I think our guys have taken that to heart, and I think we've got a, a young group that is willing to work, and that makes it fun and rewarding as a coach.